really special thing about the Animal Behaviour Masters at Exeter is the way that it integrates uh, input from psychology and from ecology and uh, evolution. At the University of Exeter we've got a real concentration of academic staff, of research scientists working on animal behaviour, probably one of the biggest concentrations in Europe, possibly even the world. We have two real areas of strength. One is thinking about animal social behaviour and the evolution of group living in animals and the other is animal cognition. The program is made up of several different aspects. There's uh, obviously the teaching component and that comprises both general skills that you gather. There's also the, the subject specific matter. So you'll learn um, specifically about mechanisms of behaviour, about uh, behavioural ecology, about some of the, um, the neural basis for behaviour and also the applications of understanding animal behaviour for animals in the real world. The second aspect of the course is really getting to grips with uh, practical understanding of animal behaviour. We have a series of uh, practical sessions where you get to learn a range of new skills such as um, bird banding or use of um, audio analysis to look at vocalisations of animals. The students will go off to a field course and typically that's on Lundy Island where you're able to uh, concentrate for a whole week on a particular study of an animal and its behaviour and then that prepares you well for the final uh, sort of third of the course which is your research project. Teaching is uh, led by the research and students come along and engage with our seminar programs. We, we try to have a weekly seminar with an external uh, speaker. The other way students really get to engage and integrate with the research is through an internship program. So students can come and be part of our research labs engage in, in research projects and really get to feel like to be part of a research team. The main unique feature that or characteristics about the course I think is about we can do internship within the one year of, it, of the TOTCH program. It will also make you to realise that whether do you want to keep doing research after you graduate or where do you want to go, maybe zoo management, about welfare or, or other things as well. We had a whole module on behavioural science research skills which I thought was really good because they showed us how to do things such as press releases, so dealing with the media if we actually wanted to get our research published. We also did grant proposals, so if we're actually asking for funding to do research projects, I felt things like that were really useful in terms of giving us an idea of what is expected of us outside of here. The kind of projects that master's students take uh, can be incredibly wide-ranging. They can uh, work on neural behaviour in, in bees, they may include work on uh, charismatic vertebrates in zoos. They may involve work on wild populations uh, of animals, which may take place in the UK, or students may choose to go uh, to work on projects abroad. The great thing is, is that because of our own active research interests, we have strong links with a number of researchers around the world and within the UK working on a huge range of different study systems. There are a lot of resources and support. I found the staff here are really friendly. Um, no matter if you have any problem, they will try to help you to solve it. 